Hey, how's it going? So today we're, we're unboxing um, Quin, Quintinus uh, 16 in one multi-tool. I've purchased something like this uh, recently. Well, not recently, but maybe a half a year ago, but I misplaced it somewhere. I'm not even sure where it's at. Um, the design was similar to this, but it only had a hammer. But this one had a hammer and an ax, so I thought that was pretty cool, right? Um, so 16 one tool, uh, limited lifetime warranty, uh, perfect for uh, camping, survival, hunting, backpacking, emergency escape, household, uh, and gifts, stuff like that. Okay, so let's open the box. Ooh, okay. So it comes with the little silk, silica. Comes with this, uh, Sealed in this nice uh, kind of like a, a uh, belt Kevlar type thing. Oh yeah, snaps open even. Nice, so it makes it real easy to to mount it onto you know your, your backpack or your belt stuff like that. Um, if you are going out hiking and stuff, I would use this one so it's totally secure inside your belt loop. Uh, inside your your belt, right? So loop your belt through this, so that it would have to totally get ripped off from you, right? So this way it might be more quick uh, snap on. Uh, just you know, especially when you're hiking and stuff, you just never know what happens. You really want to make sure it's secured and and totally on your body. But you know, if not, then you can always use this. Um, so this is actually pretty nice that they added kind of Velcro. Uh, behind backing behind the button uh so you know so not only does snap in place ooh, and then, but you also have a little velcro kind of gives it a little more extra support so that's pretty cool that's a nice touch um looks like it's double stitch so this should be held should hold very nicely all right so let's um this part here is velcro Velcro shedding all over my table now. All right, so the Velcro is very nice. The stitch on this is very nice, to be honest. It's very good quality. Wow, I didn't realize how uh, bright and vivid this red is, but that's a very nice red. It's not like paint, but it's actual red anodized aluminum uh, panel. That's, that's a very nice touch. Uh, it just looks like it's chipped a little bit here, so. Uh, Okay, not a big deal. Okay, let's take it out of this little plastic. But I'm gonna leave this on. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any type of factory oil on this. But I mean, I guess if it's, it's like solid aluminum, then you, should, you don't have to really worry about that anyways. Um, so the hammer is actually a smooth hammer. I wish they coated this with rubber or something to kind of make it last a little longer, but you know, Actually, is this steel? Yeah, this might be steel. It's pretty heavy. So it could rust. Well, this is aluminum, so this shouldn't rust. I don't know. <laughs> but I, did, I do kind of wish this is kind of like, uh, has. I wish it had kind of like chamfered uh, grooves into this to give it a little bit more grip. But I don't know. Maybe this way it'll last longer if it's a nice smooth hammer. But... Uh, yeah, so far the quality looks very really nice. I love that they have this little uh, axe sharp uh, protection thing. So it's like just a little rubber TPU material. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you can definitely feel that. It's a nice uh, sharp. I wouldn't say super sharp because I can feel kind of like a, a resistance of see how there's like those grooves when they, they, sh they trim the metal. So that, that you can feel there. This way, this side is soft, but this side is rough. Yeah, this side is smooth without any type of, uh, doesn't catch your finger. This side, yeah, you can feel it catching. So let me put this back on. That's nice, I like that they added this little thing. But it's one thing that, one more thing that you'll probably end up losing, but try your best not to lose it. Because <laughs> you want to protect your tools, right? Okay, there you go. I think that's on pretty securely. All right, so to unlock it, you just squeeze. Oh, that's a good squeeze here. So let's um, move that side. Squeeze and mm, OK. 
Okay, let's try again. Squeeze! Oh wow, this thing's really on there, huh? Okay. I don't think there's like another safety switch. It's just pressure by this, this, this uh, little metal metal that acts as a spring. Am I that weak? Wow. Okay, there you go. So you do have to. You don't have to squeeze it as hard as I thought, right? But you do have to squeeze it, and the clearance on this to the to the relief is is very narrow. So you don't have to squeeze it that hard. I, I made it sound a lot worse than it was. Um, yeah. So yeah. So you open it. Uh, you know, if you had to adjust something, or ask how has a metal crimp in here, so you can crimp wires, or you know, cut cut wires. That's cool. All right. See, and you can see the finish of this is very nice. It's nice and smooth. Quality is pretty nice. I would say it's very solid feeling. So let's see how hard it is to put this uh, safety strap back on. Oh yeah, look at that squeeze. Okay, so now, yeah, it wasn't too hard. You just have to just squeeze a little bit and push this on. But it does scr scratch the metal. So, you know, it, it's gonna be a tool, right? It'll show wear, so, so it's not a big, big deal. All right, so let's see. The first one will be a little filer, a little saw, screwdriver. All right, so this one here, same thing. Maybe a wedger, but you can also use it as a screwdriver, but you know, to wedge something. A uh, can opener, uh, you might, well, that doesn't feel sharp, but I'm sure you can use this to clamp something. I'm sure that there's a, was there instructions? Oh wow, there's no instructions. Um, fish to scaler. Okay, so I'm not really sure if that actually does anything. I assume you can find a use for that. But yeah, so this is the assorted hex wrench. All right. And here's oh, so this is the saw. So maybe this is. for fish to scaler. All right, I assume, I'm not 100% positive, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so let me make sure I don't cut myself opening these here. So this is the Phillips, and I think that's all it has, it's just a Phillips. Well, you, you would think they could add something to this. <laughs> and then of course, the last one will be the knife. Yeah, you can tell the knife is pretty sharp. That's good. The inside is protected. Nice. Very nice. So you, the build, build quality of this is actually really nice. A lot better than, than I expected. I'm just trying to do one at a time so I don't cut myself here. You feel that the springiness is very nice. And then, of course, here's the last one. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but the finish is actually really nice. It has a nice metal sheen to it. And I don't think it says what the materials is made out of. Double check. Yeah, no instructions. So, um, yeah, it's a 16-in-1 tool. The quality build is, I would say, is pretty nice. Nothing to complain about. Uh, nothing stands out. Other than, you know, it took me just a little bit just to get this part off. But, you know, that's fine because you, you don't want this too loose anyways because, you know, if you're carrying this around and this keeps flopping off, that would uh, be very annoying. So, so I definitely would not c consider that a negative. You know, I guess I did sound a little bit negative about it. But I, it definitely would not knock it for that. That's something I, I would prefer, you know. All right. So I'm going to keep this sealed not it's not really sealed but I'm gonna keep this in the plastic just to prevent from dust or even light water you know if anything sprays on me or something at least this is a little bit protected right
this is, you know, it's not a big deal, but it's always nice to have a second layer of protection on something that is going to be more. I'm going to pretty much keep this in my to-go bag, storage bag, um, you know, two-day bag type thing, three-day bag type thing. Uh, just in case something happens, I will have, you know, at least the basic amount of tools that I would need to just to do what I need to do, right? Other than that, I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Again, it didn't come with instructions, but, you know, on the box it tells you everything this thing uh, does. Again, the quality, I love it. The finish is very nice. And this brand is called Quin Quintinus. Quintinus. Quintinus? 6 and one multi-tool. 16 and one multi-tool. All right? Here's the barcode. So if you have any comments or questions, leave it below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.